enjoying what's left of your holiday or it's by the time I post this the holidays are gonna be over so hope you had fun cuz it's done and there's nothing you can do about it now um, anyway, I thought I kind of owed you another video, so that's what we're here to do today, and that's what you're watching, obviously. Um, so let's just get right to it. I thought it might be fun to share some recipes. I know uh, that's what I like to look at a lot on YouTube, is to see what other people are eating, um, especially other flexible dieters, which I am, so, um, on top of that, I've got some like crazy food restrictions and allergies. Um, I am uh, cro I have Crohn's disease, <laughs> so basically means that uh, there's a lot of foods I cannot process, or rather my digestive system can't pro process properly. Uh, so that eliminates whack of things. And on top of it, I also happen to have a plethora of allergies, which is awesome. One of the things I struggle with the most is actually hitting my protein numbers because I'm allergic to all seafoods um, and fish, so I can't get my source through there. Um, with the Crohn's, I'm not allowed to have any dairy, um, so that can also make it hard. And I'm allergic to eggs, <laughs> so also makes it difficult. Prep is really fun. Um, needless to say, lots of chicken, but I'll, uh, when I get into prep, which is start in February, I'll take you guys on the ride for that, so you'll see how I get through it. But anyways, um, as a result, I eat a lot of, yes, you guessed it, chicken. <laughs> um, the thing about chicken, it's good, it's versatile, it's high in protein, and thankfully for me, it comes in so many different forms and can take on so many different flavors, it helps a little bit. So, where am I going with this? That's a mighty good question. Today, I'm going to make a chicken meatloaf. Same thing as regular meatloaf, it's just with ground chicken instead of ground beef. Um, it's a recipe I quite enjoy. And a little tip, I'm gonna be making it just in one big pan, one big loaf, but um, if you want, when I'm on prep especially, I find I'll actually end up baking it in muffin tins, like scooping meat into a muffin tin and baking it, because then you have these individual portions and I can throw them in the freezer once they're cooked and then just grab them to go, so that's a little cheap for you there. Uh, but enough about that. Let's go make some. Okay, so you just saw my big secret meatloaf. Lots of secrets in there. 
as I'm sure you can tell. No secrets. But you know what? It pretty it, 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 it tastes pretty dang good. Um, you can have some fun with the flavors and whatever you want to do. Um, I just love it. It's a comfort food. Like I think meatloaf is really underrated. Like you can take your steak. I'll take my meatloaf. Well, maybe not. I do like steak, so maybe I take that back. You can have your fish because I can't eat fish. I will have my meatloaf. Um, I mean, like for real though, with a name like that, like meatloaf, loaf of meat, can it get any better? I don't. I don't think so, I and mean, I just love loaves of meat. That's all it is, that's all it comes down to, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so before this turns into a bigger disaster, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, glad you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm gonna go head to the gym. I may take you guys with me, I may not. Well, we shall see what happens. Oh, and while I think of it, if you like this recipe, or want to see more um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you like seeing all these recipes and um, subscribe to the channel so that you know when such videos are being posted and don't forget too that like I am always open to hearing feedback and um, hearing what you guys might want to see so if you have any questions or requests or anything just drop them in the comments below and uh, I'll be happy to respond as best as I can thanks for tuning in Ciao.